Hey, welcome back to Forty Faith, one step at a time with your gal, Alicia Ann. In today's episode, we are going over step three, devotional three, giving up control. Our Bible reading is found in Psalms 61 verses 1 through 8 on page 721 of the Life Recovery Bible. If you want to pause the video and go find it, but come on back so you can read along with me. Are you there yet? Have you found your place? Are you ready? Starting in verse 1 of or Psalms. Psalm 61. Oh God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the towering rock of safety, for you are my safe refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me live forever in your sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of your wings, for you have heard my vows, O oh God. You have given me an inheritance reserved for those who fear your name. Add many years to the life of the king. May his years span the generation. May he reign under God's protection forever. May your unfailing love and faithfulness watch over him. Then I will sing praises to your name forever as I fulfill my vows each day. If you're wondering, this is a psalm of King David and he is crying out to the Lord to hear his prayer. Let's go to our little devotional. You see, we made a decision to turn our wills and our lives over to the care of God. Isn't that fantastic? That is so wonderful that you made that decision to turn your will and your life over to the care of God. The thought of turning our wills and our lives over can be attractive. When we give in to our dependencies and compulsions, aren't we giving up control to another power? Aren't we in some way giving up personal responsibility for our lives? When we are overwhelmed and want to escape, our addictions can make us feel strong, safe, attractive, powerful, and happy. So in a sense, we are very comfortable with the thought of giving up control of our wills and our lives. When we can take steps to change our focus and turn our lives over to God instead of reverting to the hiding places of the past. The Apostle Paul touched on this contrast when he said, don't be drunk with wine because, and here's a big because, what does wine do? It will ruin your life. What if what do the addictions do? It ruins our lives. And he goes on to say, instead be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's Ephesians 5.18. When we are overwhelmed and in need of some kind of escape, we have a new place to turn. King David declared, the Lord is a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Psalms 9, 9 through 10. David also wrote this, from the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lord, lead me to the towering rock of your safe, for you are my refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Next, we're going to turn to Isaiah 54 on page 909 of the Life Recovery Bible. If you want to continue following these steps and listening to these um, devotionals, that would be great. If the Lord leads you to do that, then just thank Him for putting it on your heart to watch these. Um, this is nothing of me. This is all the Lord doing this. With that said, thanks for watching. May you have a blessed day. Bye.